What's up everybody, Night Shipnik here with another video in GTA 5, except it's not LSPDFR for once. It is going to be the uh, some gameplay from the new mod LS Noir, which is a modification to GTA 5, just like everything else in regards to LSPDFR, except this is practically LA Noir in GTA 5. And uh, it's only three cases, uh, but hey no don't go doing that um but they're very thorough and there's a lot that goes with it so th there's some issues with it the three main things is the noises associated with like notifications and stuff in the game very loud i'll try and uh edit those out and uh, when i go to edit this video uh the second one is they talk very quickly um like it'll pop up in on the bottom and be like oh this is where they're saying blah blah, blah. and it's like boom 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 so you'll notice that when we get to the scene um and three there's lots of time between things uh so like if we want a warrant we have to apply for one or request one from a judge and then we have to wait to get it so i'm gonna cut out all the the boring downtime uh just to make it interesting for you but uh, I have lots of different detective heads that I, that I just never really got to use because there's nothing really detective based for normal LSPDFR. So this should be really interesting. I'm in a plain clothes thing, but it is storming outside, I believe it was. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's still storming. So I'm going to grab my jacket real quick and then we'll head out to our car. All right. We got my jacket on. We just got a call. Oh man, it's storming out here. It's supposed to be clearing up here shortly, so we're gonna get in our nice Crown Vic that I specifically installed for this series. Uh, inside, very bright ass screen. Uh, normally, what the Crown Vic would look like. We go on the outside view. Stage one lighting. Nothing in the front. Directional in the back. Stage two. You got another directional going the opposite way with. Uh, your strobes activate and stuff, but nothing in the front still, so uh, that, that's pretty nice. And then stage three, you got your wigwags, you got your flashers, you got your full red and blues in the back, you got your full red and blues and your uh, strobes in the front, and then the grill. Beautiful car, and I put uh, Detective Night Shift Nick on the plate because I thought that'd be funny. So we already got a call. There's a homicide down on Jamestown Street which is not far from Grove, so we're gonna head down there and see what's up. Uh, there's already officers on scene, we're just responding as a detective unit uh, to check that out. All right, we're in the area, it's just the next block over, so we'll come through here, and then we'll uh, see if we can locate this scene. Attention. Loud music. Oh, look at this. Gorgeous. Three, Charles Five, show me on scene. Of the, uh, homicide. Let's, uh, turn the lights off. We'll turn our rear lights on for scene safety, but we don't need to be blinding our guys. That's an excellent, uh, feature. Okay, what we got going on here? Hello? Who was first on scene? None of you? Okay. All units, an ambulance requested. Okay. Oh, there's our dead person. And we got some suits here, just staying around, not sure what they're doing. Hey, bud. Were you the uh, the first one on the scene? Yep, okay. Let's look at him. He's soaking wet. How's it going? Howdy. What you got, Mike? Uh... Hey, we found her uh, accidentally about 30 minutes ago. No one saw anything, of course, but there's a woman you might want to talk to. Of course, Mikey, uh, they pay me for a talk. Shut up. I figured if you ask me, she's she was a prostitute and was it? Okay, blah, blah, blah. See how fast it goes. Really hard to keep. Thanks, Mike. Okay, so what's this? There's something here. Can we do anything with that yet? No, we gotta check. Okay, loud music. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at her. 
dramatic camera angle. Uh, multiple stab wounds to the stomach, bruises on the neck, and the her panties are dirty, put inside out in her resting. So she's probably gonna her cause of death is probably gonna be the uh, the stabbing, but we'll have the coroner take a look. We'll call for an ambulance, put that away. And now we can look at this is it a wallet? Dramatic. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it. Yep, it's a wallet, alright. Uh, we'll include the item into evidence. And of course, the C button is stuck to that. Uh, we contained credit cards issued to Jessica Johnson $20 in single bills and $2.30 in coins. It's all been added to our evidence. Uh, excellent. EMS is. I don't need them to hurry up. We got work to do here. Oh, something here. Let's pull our flashlight out. This. Let's see, what is it? Uh, flip it. Oh, it's a uh, an iPad or a iFruit tablet or whatever they call it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. Um, man, you guys are soaking wet. I'm glad I brought my jacket out. How's it going, ma'am? Detective Nick, Los Santos Police Department. Uh, no, I'm not Frank, but how's it going? Uh, do you know the victim? Of course I know Jessica. Okay, well, that wallet was definitely hers. I was working with her. Okay, what's her full name, do you know? Jessica Johnson. Yep, that is what our the credit card was. And what's your name, ma'am? Christine Rock. All right, Christine. Uh, what kind of work were you guys doing, if you don't mind me asking? The work in the streets, of course you were. Uh, do you know who her last John was? No, I haven't seen her since yesterday. Ooh. Okay, so she, possible prostitute, I'm going to write down some notes here, and she was last seen yesterday. Uh, and so far we have evidence, a wallet and a tablet. Excellent. So... I'm not sure what that loud beeping is, so uh, I'm going to tell her to stay here while we clear this up. Uh, let's see if there's any other evidence. It'll make a noise if we're near any, so we don't have to look too far. But uh, EMS will arrive. They'll pronounce her dead and because they found her 30 minutes ago. There's no reviving somebody that's dead for more than eight or ten minutes because they would just be brain dead so I sure do like these cars the uh, the Los Santos Metropolitan PD cars I put in I would use that as my detective car except you can't make it all black unless I like went in and added another livery which I can't do so all right I think that's all the evidence so far we're gonna just wait for the uh, ambulance to arrive and pronounce her dead and then we'll probably have to call the coroner and then we'll move from there all right EMS just arrived she's right back here guys go ahead and check her out oh sweet wait is that that's not the police helicopter is it oh oh no pull up too low. Oh boy. All right, what do you got there, bud? Uh, she's dead. We can't help her. It looks like the aorta was damaged. She lost most of her. Uh, I'll send you a copy of my report. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so aorta is a major like artery. So uh, yeah, there's 
even if they did get here on time, it would have been very hard to save her. So we're going to go ahead and call the corner out here. And then they can, now that the, it's been officially pronounced dead, uh, they'll come out here. They'll take their pictures, load her up, and then head off. Who is this guy? Who are you with? FIB. That's a little weird. Not sure why we got FIB agents down here for a dead prostitute. Okay. It sounds like the, uh... Oh, no. Alright, the coroner is arriving. Hey there. What the hell's in his hand? We got a notepad flipped open. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, right back here. EMTs were just here probably 15, 20 minutes ago, pronounced. So, uh, if you want to go ahead and take a look at her, tell me what you think. They were saying that her aorta was severed and that she bled out. Not seeing much blood here, so it's probably something else playing into this. So, what are you thinking? And there's a shootout going on over there. Glad we're... Alright, they already loaded her up. Let's hear what he's got to say. What's up, Bella? I need to report ASAP. There's a massive backlog, but we'll see what we'll... See what we can do. Okay, I count on you. Excellent. Take care. Bye-bye. Alright, sounds like that's everything. We... We'll go let this lady know she's clear to go. I don't have any other questions for her. I got the wallet. I got a tablet for evidence. We'll go ahead and take that back to the station. All right. How's it going? Um, let's go ahead and talk to her real quick and tell her she can leave. Excellent job, guys. Get back to work. We'll get back in the car. And where do they want us to go? Excellent. Let's see. All right. Look at that. Uh, first officer talked to victim. We checked out and we found both pieces of evidence. Excellent. Let's go ahead and accept that. Um, not sure what's going on over there. Shit, I was paying too much attention to that. And not to what I was doing. So, no, that's excellent. Uh, visit the ME office to collect information about the victim. Alright, first things first, we're going to go ahead and run back to the station. Drop off the evidence that we collected. Uh, so that the crime lab can analyze it and then we'll go talk to the uh, the corner see what's up and look at the prostitutes out here but uh yeah we're gonna go drop off the, the stuff and then head over to the corner's office all right we're gonna we just got back to the station Park this here real quick. Um, I don't really think there's an evidence room, so we're just gonna role play that we're turning the end the evidence. Hey, bud. Uh, cells, briefing, locker rooms, and armory. We'll say that this is the evidence. Check it. Hey, we got uh, two pieces of evidence that need to be taken down to the crime lab. Uh, one's gonna be a Eye fruit tablet. The second one is going to be a uh, what was it? A wallet. Yeah. Uh, the case is going to be on the the homicide today uh, down on Jamestown. Uh, victim was uh, Jessica Johnson. Okay, thank you. So now that we did that, we're going to run into. There's multiple places I can do this. We're going to go in this. Now we'll use the computer out here. Excuse me. Thank you. We're going to use this computer, and they, they did excellent on this. So, whoop. We can go into the computer, open up our case. I'm sorry, guys, about that stupid black box around the, the, the 
pointer and shit. I don't understand what it's from. So we'll go ahead and open the case. Uh, case number zero. Evidence. We have a tablet. We're going to go ahead and request an analysis um, from the crime lab. Have them look at it. And it was unlocked and open to Life Invader, so they could probably get some information off of it. Um, it was raining, so any fingerprints or whatnot could be deteriorated off of it. Uh, we'll open this, request an analysis on the wallet as well. Probably not much more than what we looked at when we were on scene. But uh, I wonder if I can add gloves to my character. That would be pretty interesting, seeing that I'm handling evidence. Um, so we'll close that out. Any reports? The medical report um, from the fire department. Uh, the body presented no signs of life on arrival. Uh, liver mortis was present in the lower part of the body due to the fact ALS was not due to this fact ALS which was advanced life support was not performed uh, multiple stab wounds to the stomach so that's what the, the EMT saw when they uh, dealt with her um, that they knew there was nothing that could be done um Rigor mortis was setting in, so she was dead for quite some time, at least 30 minutes before we got there, because the, the cops found her, and I highly doubt she was freshly killed. So that's that. Let's see, any other reports? The corner field report, so this is just what they saw the field. The body was placed placed in a back alleyway on Jamestown Street. The decedent was laying on her back in a small area of dried blood. Okay, so... It was, the, the fact that they severed the aorta, there had been a lot of blood, so that's, it's definitely not adding up. So we're going to go ahead and close that. We are going to head to the coroner's office real quick. Oops. No. Um, we're going to head to the coroner's office, see what they have for us, and then we'll, we'll move from there. All right, we're pulling up to the coroner's office right now. We're just going to hop this curb illegally uh, now for those that don't remember you if you played GTA 5 campaign you've actually been here when Michael had uh, fake his own death but uh, that's probably the only time you've ever been here oh let's turn off our headlights don't need the battery going dead on us now all right we'll run inside real quick and see what they got for us dramatic Zoom out. Hello. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Dr. A. Smith, Chief Medical Examiner. What's this person doing? Get down from there. Gee whiz. Hello. What's going, Dr. Smith? Nick Andy Smith that is the most generic name ever all right Andy what's up no, his name's not John I can see his name tag you're, you're a real asshole uh, the girl was identified as Jessica Johnson she had an ID hidden in an inside pocket the address was Monroe Street kind of an unusual place for a prostitute crib Monroe Street's up in Vinewood Hills so uh, it might be her parents house Gotta check that. What was the cause of death? The uh, most probable cause of death was hypovolemic shock, and she was, after she was stabbed in the or which means she ran out of blood to live. Uh, all the evidence retrieved in her pockets are with the central lab. Okay, the report was sent into our office today. All right, thanks, Doc. All right, so she stabbed with a a knife. The it could have been something else, but it was, it was a, a knife, and that she d died from blood loss. So, we need to go check out her residence. See if it's her parents or her... I don't know. I highly doubt it was hers, since she was she's a prostitute. And it was confirmed by her friend down there. That, shut up. So, of course, All units, let's go ahead and set a... In, uh, strawberry. I, that's great. I'm 
I'm busy. Somebody can get their car stolen. We're going to be in route to the house up in Vinewood Hills. See what's happening. See if there's anybody home. If so, we'll get some information, ask questions, do the detective thing, and then we'll uh, move from there. Alright, we are like a block out. I'm pretty sure they said Monroe. Is that what the street was? No, this is not. Unless it changes into a different street up here. Uh, I guess not. So, this is the residence that we wanted to check up on. Um, there's somebody standing at the front door. We're just going to pull in the driveway here. Hello? Can I talk to you? Hello? Or not? What about this lady? Hello? Talk to Nick, Los Santos, please. How's it going? Not sure why I'm walking like this. Alright, let's go and talk to her. Uh, I'm Nick with the uh, LSPD Homicide Squad. Uh, do you know a person named Jessica Johnson? Yes, sir. I'm Jasmine Johnson. She's my sister. Is everything okay with her? What? Okay. Using your expert detective skills, pick one of the following. If, or, I have to decide if she's telling the truth, doubt, or lie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't lie about it being her sister. Ma'am, I'm very sorry to inform you that your sister is dead. Bom, bom, bom. Oh my god. How could that happen? I'll, I'll be asking the questions, don't you? Uh, when was the last time you saw your sister? It was two days ago. She was going out with her ex-boyfriend. Uh, okay. How did she feel about that meeting? Well, it is an ex-boyfriend. Quite neutral, I'd say. Okay. Uh, what do you think about him? His, oh, maybe that's not what it is. His name is Tom. I don't know his last name. Uh, they've been a couple for like six or seven months. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I wouldn't call that a lengthy relationship. She was kind of disappointed about his personality. Well, she spent a decent amount of time with him. And I would consider it lengthy. Uh, do you know why they broke up? Nah, I wasn't much really interested. Bullshit. They lived together. They dated for like seven months. Uh, I'm calling bullshit. I don't believe she didn't talk about it with her own sister. Okay, she told me a while ago she uh, he was too harsh on her and she felt embattled by him. Okay. Uh, do you know where I can find this Tom fellow? Uh, it might have been there once. Three Lake Vinewood Estates, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, I believe that. That's a pricey area. Is that his own place? No, definitely not. That's his parents' home, and there's shots fired in the area. Awesome. Uh, I gotta ask you one uh, uh, question. Uh, is your sister a prostitute? No, how could you think of that? Uh, you're lying to me. Uh, her friend told me sh she was uh, active in that field. You can harm the investigation by hiding information, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. I don't want to talk about her in a bad way. It's not in a bad way. I need to know the truth. Nope, you're fucking useless. All right, I'm leaving. She doesn't have anything else to say. But there were shots fired over here. What is going on? Hello? Excellent. Look at that. Six out of six. Uh, I talked to the person. We're going to go visit the... The boyfriend's house. Can I put it... Let's go ahead and get the old map up. Head over yonder. 
What is going on? Why is there so much screaming? Oh, look, a pig. Alright, we're gonna head there. We'll see if he's home. If not, if it's not his house. What the fuck? Not my problem. Lady. Stupid bitch. Yeah, so we'll see what's going on up here.